Hello, this challenge activity is called Marble Run. First, let me show you, uh, give an example of what this might look like. Here's an example. And let's just turn this down a little bit. Here's a marble. And here we have paper plates, we have paper towel rolls, and a uh, toilet paper roll, a couple of those. If we take this, set it up top, and let it travel all the way down and around. We do that one more time. You can see that we're taking this marble and getting it from uh, a height of 12 inches or more and taking it all the way down to the ground without it falling. So that's kind of our challenge here. And the question being, can your students, can they work together to build something like this? A couple of hints, a couple of things to talk about. Uh, the plates that you might want to have for this activity are the kind where there is, uh, it's definitely curved right here. The paper plates that look like this, uh, they don't have that much curve and so it would be quite a bit of a challenge to do. There are some bowls where they have quite a curve that you could use if you wanted tighter uh, turning, radius, turning radiuses. Um, you have to look to see if your, your marbles are going to fit inside those. And another thing that you could do is the inside of the plate that is unused, uh, the kids could make those into some funnels by cutting a, uh, cutting a slit in it turning this around and then marking out where the opening would be on the bottom and cutting that out. And again, the, the whole goal here is for the kids to work together in their group to figure out how they can take uh, this ball from the top all the way to the bottom. Some things that they're going to be looking at would be, you know, as I start this, as I try this, what's not working? Why is it falling off and how can, how can we fix that? A couple of things that I've needed to do here would be there's one section on the back back here you can't really see. I can lift it up a little bit. This section right here, I had to add another plate because the ball was moving so quickly that if I didn't have something there, it would roll off. And those are some questions that you can be asking as a teacher during this process or at the end is, you know, when your ball fell off, what did you do? You know, what brainstorming was there? What did you try? Did it work? Did it not work? Uh, how did how did you get things to eventually work? Um, tape, you need some masking tape or duct tape uh, to hold things up. And the last thing being this, at the very bottom down here, I have some construction paper. This really helps in terms of uh, setting up some paper towel rolls or some toilet paper rolls and keeping them from sliding around as the, as the children are, are trying to build this. One last comment that I might make is this. Once you have a plate, if you wanted to save some time on this project, uh, you as the teacher, you could cut out the inside and just provide them with the outside lip. They can use, let's see where it's the, you can use the inside edge right here. Students could also flip it over and use uh, this outside edge here. And this, what I built right here right quick, I use a combination of both of them. So... It's a fun activity. It can be frustrating and challenging for some students, but once they get it, it, it can certainly be very exciting. The, the thing that you'll need to stress during this project is that they work together. It can be frustrating for some students when things aren't working, but you as the teacher, if you can help facilitate a, uh, the, for their group to come up with a game plan, that would be great. And then uh, hopefully your kids will come up with some exciting things that they can showcase to others in their class.